On my channel, I talk a lot about the positives of being a computer science major, you know, all of the good sides. And for me specifically, I don't really regret being a computer science major or studying computer science in college or, you know, more specifically math computer science because, you know, there's a little bit of a distinction. But I do want to highlight one of my biggest regrets as a computer science major in college such that if you are a computer science major in college or a technical computer science related major that you could potentially learn from this video. So I've mentioned this in passing in previous videos, but one of my largest regrets as a computer science major that I still think about is I didn't really work on too many programming side projects. So let me elaborate on that. When I was first admitted to UC San Diego, the college I went to for mathematics and computer science, my exposure to computer science was somewhat limited and really my only experience with it was with AP computer science in high school. So I wasn't like completely unknowledgeable about it, but I didn't know a ton about very specific areas of computer science, and I just really only had experience programming in Java. And even some of the schools that I got into and that I applied to, I wasn't even admitted as a computer science major. For example, I was admitted to UC Santa Barbara, and I think the major I was admitted for was like pre-financial statistics or something like that. So in essence, I didn't know a ton about computer science, but I knew a little bit, and I think this sort of limited my ability to dive deeper or know about different areas of computer science that might have interested me at that time. Simply because I didn't even really know about them or just I didn't know how to actually start. And I only really did programming side projects towards the end of my senior year. So why do I regret this? Well, now I have so many ideas for side projects that I actually want to work on and that seem really interesting to me. So I want to do stuff with like augmented reality or smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain or doing stuff in React. And I want to dive into all of these areas, but I obviously work full time and do YouTube. So my, my time commitment towards side projects is more limited than it was when I was in college. Also, I feel like if I actually worked on programming side projects throughout college, I might have had a bit of an easier time or a less stressful time actually looking for and getting software engineering internships. So you may be asking yourself, well, why didn't you work? on programming side projects in college. As I mentioned, going into freshman year, I don't think I knew enough about computer science to really know where to start or really know what to do in general. Like, when you're a freshman, I didn't really understand how do, how do I set up a login page? How do I, you know, set up a database for users? Or, you know, where what are some of the resources that you might actually use as a software engineer or a computer science student? And I felt like developing those skills definitely took time and just going in with the whole new college atmosphere could be a little bit overwhelming as well as trying to learn a lot of different technologies at the same time. Additionally, you also may notice this, that your interest in programming or computer science, at least when you're first starting out, might only extend to you actually completing or working on programming assignments for your computer science classes. And I was very much like that, where I enjoyed coding, but the passion I had for coding Coding never really extended beyond the programming assignments. So I would do the programming assignments and I would like solving the technical problems, you know, with just a, a little bit of stress involved. But then I was never really motivated to work on additional coding stuff or programming stuff outside of those programming assignments or computer science class homework assignments. And often I just felt burnt out where I did a programming assignment and now I just didn't want to even touch or look at code for a while. And that basically lasted up until my senior year, where during that time I actually started to develop more of that outside academia sort of passion, where in my free time I would actually go try to start these different side projects. Now, I didn't finish anything, nothing was like really popular, nothing grew a lot, but I did try and start a bunch of different things, which I wish I did sooner. This might be a bit rambly, but if you take anything from this video and you are a computer scientist, major or a technical related major that can work easily sort of independently on side projects, find something that genuinely interests you 
and create a side project around that. If you like running, try to build an Android app around running or a website around running. If you like League of Legends, look into their APIs and try to make like a analysis dashboard or analytics tool or something like that. Computer science is such a broad area, broad topic that covers so many different niche fields that if you're generally interested in technical topics, you can usually find something that you're actually interested in. And if you're actually interested in it, then you'll actually want to work on it. For example, you might not like web development or web development classes, but you might also look into other areas like augmented reality and really like that aspect of computer science. That's sort of where I wish I worked more on side projects and explored more of the different areas of computer science science because within a computer science education, you'll only be exposed to a limited scope of the broader computer science field because it's just the na nature of education where you can't cover everything, you can't go in depth about everything, you might talk about different topics, but you might not be exposed to everything. Finding something that genuinely interests you could inspire you to work on side projects revolving around that and expose you to a lot of different areas within computer science. It's also not bad for looking for internships or new grad jobs to fill up that resume. So overall, I just wish I looked into different areas of computer science that might have interested me and just worked on more programming side projects. So ultimately, that's just one of the regrets I had or one of the biggest regrets or the main regret I had as a computer science major. So I hope this video you could find useful and maybe you learned a little bit from it. Maybe if you're in the same boat and you don't love coding, I personally think it gets better over time and you naturally develop more of a passion for it. I definitely noticed that in myself where especially towards the end of my college career during my senior year and now after graduating, I find a lot of computer science topics or working on side projects much more interesting than I did in college. Maybe because I just don't have to worry about tests anymore. I don't know. If you are looking for minimalist programmer type merch, check out some of these shirts and clothes I've been designing at nullref.co. We do Bob British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos and my past self would thank you dearly and check out one of my future videos and my future self would also thank you dearly. We make college advice, career advice, tech, computer science content on this channel. If any of that sounds interesting, consider subscribing. That's all from me. Hopefully I see you in another one. Bye-bye.